quality is remembered long after the price is forgotten. When it comes to disposable items that we purchase, it's a no-brainer to purchase the cheap items because they will be trash once their use is expended. But when it comes to lifelong items, items that will be passed down for generations to come, you don't want to purchase the cheapest because a lifetime is a long time for something to last. Memories are something that we can't transfer from brain to brain. They are only stories we can share. And not everyone can retain all the stories from one person's lifetime. Therefore, we have to leave behind stories and photographs that tell and detail the story of our lives, even without our voice to narrate that particular memory. This brings us to the question of quality versus price. What price would you put on your mother or father's portrait when he or she was 16? Or the tons of baby photographs that your parents preserved throughout the years for you when you had children of your own? How many of you have ran across a poor quality portrait and wish a thousand times that you could see grandma's face just a little bit better? Or that really funny tattoo that everybody always talks about on Uncle Joe's arm? But you couldn't quite see the details in any of the images they showed because someone just took a crappy snapshot without detail, just point and shoot, enough to get by on the cheap. We all want bang for our buck. While some women would spend a whopping $200 for a coach purse, which will lose its style when the new style is released, or vice versa. The outdoorsman in your life, spending $200 or more on a precision bow for his gaming extravaganzas. Yet we as photographers hear all too often, those portraits cost how much? These aren't just portraits. These are images that will last a lifetime, that will tell a story, that will never go out of style that will be handed down to your kids, their kids, and their kids' kids. Think about it. When your children are older and you want to talk to them about Uncle Joe, what will the story be? Your Uncle Joe had this amazing funny tattoo of a woman with a beard on his arm. And when he flexed his forearm, her beard would move, although we never got portraits of Uncle Joe because they cost more than we wanted to pay. I do, however, have a great memory, and I'm going to draw that out for you. It was pretty funny, eh? No, because they can't see the memory you seen. It's not as vivid. Cost versus quality. We have all heard it from our friends. Where can I find a good, cheap photographer? Well, the intention of this video is to pop any bubble of hope that you had for finding those two words together in one sentence combined with the word photographer. Why? Because if you find a good photographer, good is not cheap. If you find a cheap photographer, cheap will not be good. It's simple as that. The cost of a good photographer is paying for that experienced photographer's know-how. Thousands of dollars that the photographer spends in continued education. Professional camera with lenses, backdrops, and lights which easily cost $6,000 for the basic equipment. A comfortable, well-appointed studio, which is very expensive. A fairly decent computer and software to add that extra special magic to your portraits. A paid assistant to help hold the lights, taxes on the land and building where you're being photographed, not to mention a mortgage payment, as well as hours upon countless hours of editing your images to make sure they are up to the highest standard possible, which in turn equals much time away from the artist's family, something that you can never put a price on. This and so much more is the quality that you're paying for. Which memories will you leave behind? Detailed images that speak for themselves or stories without vivid picture? Each photographer's price is based on location and the cost it takes to keep the studio remaining afloat. For you and your children, your children's children, to create memories for years to come. Unforgettable memories. Memories with such great detail that you don't need a pen and piece of paper to try and illustrate. And if the photographer is good, you won't need a voice to explain the portrait because a quality photographer will do that job for you within the image itself.